Oh, she's a heavy wench. So, so we have ourselves a properly functioning powder coated, thanks to my buddy, hitch receiver winch mount arrangement. We have lock nuts and washers to distribute the load around. We have a beautiful little fair lead mount, and yes, I have it upside down because showing you the top of the winch isn't really, it's not, I didn't build the winch. Bought, built, there is a difference. So we are looking pretty solid. Is there some reason why our backup alarm is going off, you goofball? All right, so we have ourselves a beautiful fairly mountain. Yes, I did make it kind of like this on purpose because I figured it's going to get sprung down. So when it gets sprung a little bit from a lot of load, it'll probably sprung straight. So that's I'm, I'm sticking to that story. We have ourselves a fairly decent and very strong winch mount. These holes, as we've talked about before, correspond to the holes on the spare tire mount for my Orange Line EQ16 trailer. We have a two inch hitch receiver that is solid. And I did plug weld for you, those of you guys not watching. I did plug weld on the other side of, well, this, this is a doubled up plate right here. It is, so if you wanna watch the welding videos, if you wanna go back and watch those, I'd appreciate it. But uh, we are plug weld, plug welded all the way down the tube. So we have fully connected this piece right here to here. I drilled out 5 8 holes in this plate so I could really burn in on this solid tube. And let me tell you, she got hot. I think we got plenty of penetration through there to handle the job. I think we're going to be just fine. I don't envision putting a wild amount of load with the hitch because obviously this guy is sitting out here proud. We do have a pretty decent weld here. We got, you know, weld here, backside, weld there. And on the backside, I think we're good there. And a weld right here that I smoothed out a smidge just because I have, you know, this face is going to come up in here. So I think we have a part. It looks really good in this awesome black powder coat. Is this a special kind of color, Bob? Or is it just black? Just black. So it's not like a special name for it? No. Okay, just black. Basic black, just like, just like Henry Ford intended it. We do have the beautiful and hopefully as strong as it is beautiful because i would whoopsies i would really hate to take this thing to the face so i really hope this is as strong as it looks darn thing almost looks like it's a bit of a j-hook that was one thing i was thinking about when i was pinning this on i'm like you know maybe i should buy a j-hook because when i'm winching up onto the trailer having a j-hook like a tow truck has would almost make more sense we will look into that but I think we have ourselves a part that's going to work, and uh, we'll hopefully have a video here soon of putting it to work. So if you like to see winches pull old things up trailers and then bring them home and potentially get them running, go ahead and hit like and subscribe because I do intend to do some things like that. We will be bringing home two ancient hay wagons. Uh, I will be towing home my hay bine, so I will not be needing to have the winch. But in the future, I have got to get my plow truck going. So my 19, let's see here, 87 square body needs to come home and it needs to have a little bit of work done to it. I got to change the distributor because some asshat sent self-tappers right through the little, the little uh, module that's in the, in the distributor for a TBI system. Was not me. Some asshat sent a screw right down the middle of the TBI. Has anybody ever had someone do that? That is the dumbest thing I've ever seen. Why in the world would you ever think that was a hot idea? But anyway, that thing was, I, I, I drove it home and I was amazed the thing even made it home. We got to get the dump truck in here, though we, we we're going to use the winch for that. I think we're going to hook it to my truck and drag it in. Uh, we can drive it in, but it doesn't have brakes and I don't want to have it roll away because it rolls really good. Uh, don't want to have that. And then I got to get my 94 Chevy in here out of out of a old barn and uh, work on that guy. I have... I am three quarters of the way through a carb swap on that. So that's another thing that needs to be done. So we'll be putting this old girl to work. And if you guys are interested in something like that, go ahead and like, hit the like button and subscribe button. And that way you can see future videos that will come in regards to this winch mount. And if you're just tuning in for the first time on the winch mount, uh, it is, it, there's like four videos when I built this. So if you'd like to see the conception of the design and the welding of it 
there are videos on that. So yeah, this is what she looks like. That's how she came out. I think she came out great. I think she's going to be really strong and work out great for us. So thank you all for tuning in. This is a short one. Have a great day.